This is John again. Uh, guys, uh, I had the most wildest, I don't know what to call it, um, the most amazing thing happened last night. Uh, as you know, if you've seen my last video before this one, I'd been out uh, videotaping what it, well, it looked like maybe airplanes all packed together the same altitude. I thought then it turned out I was thinking if airplanes can't be at the same altitude all packed together like that or they would crash. And, you know, that's why the uh, I got air traffic controllers keep them separated. So I, I thought well, maybe I'll film them and maybe they're UFOs, but it sounded like airplanes and stuff. And, and I, one time I seen a UFO fly right over house, a saucer shaped, got on video, and then then the, it just erased itself from the video, and it had a, it had a, it had a, some kind of being, probably a demon in it, a weird looking being looked like a dome shaped glass top on it looked like or some kind of clear top, just a classic UFO. So I was filming that, and then I, I was, happened to put the camera down toward the ground, and when I reviewed the tape later inside the house, it had. Uh, streaks of light shooting up from the ground up the sky my wife i showed my wife she said what in the world is that and i said it could be uh, angels or, or it could be demons or uh, and she said she looked up, uh, up online and she said she found out online they were saying it could be um which i didn't thought of that uh, it could be the dead in christ rising which but i i, I thought the graves was supposed to bust open and stuff come out when that happened or stuff and then then we right after that go up we who are alive and remain go up to meet the lord in the air after the after the dead in christ rise so i didn't know i, I was wondering the same thing if it could have been the dead in christ rise but I, I ended up doing three different videos at three different times and caught actually i, I thought it was just three uh of those lights shooting up but it's actually four the last video had two two of them two different ones light shooting up and i slowed it down and you can see like five balls or six balls of light and each each time when you slow it down you can see them shooting up really fast to me, it felt like maybe Jesus was showing us the rapture getting ready to happen, and that's what that's what his angels going to come down, and, and it's going to be that fast to shoot you up to be through that door of Jesus, and and then last night I had the most weird, wild. I mean, just the most. I, don't, I shouldn't call it wild. It was just the most amazing uh, thing went on I ever have seen, and I've seen Jesus before riding a white horse in visions and stuff. And, I've seen him one time uh, before, and, but this time I was outside looking at the sky, and it was pretty late. It's about eleven thirty, and uh, the, the night before I had seen uh, videotaped those uh, lights shooting up from the ground, and put a video out about it. So watch that video right before this one, and so this night, last night I was out there videotaping, and I'm guessing it was about. Uh, oh, sorry about that, guys. I'm guessing it was about. Um, 11 30 12 well, i started looking up the sky and i noticed a lot of things like i noticed stars moving around like all kinds of moving everywhere and i got to looking close at them and i could see the stars was actually eyes of a big old huge line you know like jesus is the line of the tribe of judah and it started running and then all the whole sky was filled with spiritual beings i'm talking there it looked like to be demons. It looked like Satan himself because there's a big old huge dra dragon flying around. I mean, it was huge. It took up a big part of the sky. It was real dark and had huge wings and a big dragon, and it's flying all over the place. And and I, I could see it like it's like I could see it in the spirit, but I could see it better. I could see it just as good as I could see anybody sitting beside of me. I could, but I could see it that good. But it was I still felt like I was sitting in the spirit. And I had my video recorder, and I had been. I tried to videotape, but it didn't show up. When I knew it wouldn't, and then um, so they, they. And also, there was ho people on horses, or some kind of angels on horses, or something on horses. I don't know if it was the horsemen of the apocalypse, or I don't know if it was angels on horses, that, or the ones that ride with Jesus when he comes. Or, uh, but they, I'm telling, I'm telling you, you ain't never seen to be how fast they they run through the air. I mean, like unbelievable. And one came by and uh, had like a looked like a somebody on it and they had actually was running beside the horse and one was sitting on the horse and the other one was beside of him was running and she was or he or whatever it was was running beside the horse as fast as the horse was going i mean they were zooming and then i think they jumped up on the horse as it was running and got up on it it looked to me like but it was amazing i'm telling you 
and I could see all this stuff, and I was looking up in amazement, and I was praying, praising Jesus and praying to him. And uh, they sent out a bunch more. One horse went right over my head and stopped right, almost right above my head. I mean, not, not very far up or neither. And I was thinking that maybe that's Jesus. And uh, then after that, I seen all these things and I was watching the whole sky. I mean, and all of a sudden, the, the, the clouds, it looked like clouds. One horse come by and it had like a cloud around it. And it had a person or an angel on top of it. And if a cloud followed it. And maybe that was Jesus, but I couldn't tell what color the horse was. Um, so many things, guys, it's unbelievable. But um, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, uh, it looked like all the spirits was like clouds. There's so many of them. If you didn't, if you looked at the whole picture, you could just see the the whole sky like shifting. Like I guess when a pole shift happened, the whole sky would roll up like a scroll. It was like. Like imagine it was shooting the whole sky, as clouds were just shooting past the moon, past everything you could see it, and like the clouds just shooting by flying. But it was really all of them were spirits or something. The spirits was uh, doing something like not, <laughs> and something going on. I guess because Jesus was coming. Because I looked up a few minutes later, and uh, I seen a a doorway in heaven. I mean, a sky in the sky, not in heaven, and. Uh, it was a doorway. I'm just going to show this. See this doorway here? It's sort of dark right now. Picture. I apologize for that. But there was a doorway and a frame and then like a little bit of a wall inside of it. And then I looked in front of it and Jesus was standing in front of a white robe on. And I had seen him before that. I was looking up there and I seen I seen a man walking around with a white robe on. And uh, the doorway hadn't appeared yet. And I thought, maybe that's Jesus. And then it disappeared and then he, then he popped back into where I could see him. And he was standing outside the door with the door wide open. And I, I was thinking, oh, man, how amazing. I was like, praise the Lord, praise the Lord Jesus. And uh, I wished I could have called on video, but I, I couldn't. I, I, knew, it, I knew I couldn't even have tried because the skies where they get them chemtrails coming down, the aluminum in it and stuff, it, it makes my video recording device, it don't let it pick up nothing. I mean, because it makes the light bounce back or something uh, reflects light and stuff you don't let it see you see plus it was in the spirit i believe i was seeing it because i don't think because i tried taping the other stuff and it wouldn't do it and uh but i was wishing i could have had it on videotape and showed you guys it was unbelievable and the door was wide open he was standing outside the door and he had his hands sort of out stretched out a little bit uh you know to the side like saying rise come or something like that it looked like and then uh, all of a sudden, boy, he just turned around and went, went through that door and sh he sh shut that door so fast you wouldn't believe it. And the door was shut. And to me, I felt like maybe he was saying, um, if, if you ain't right by now, if you ain't saved by Jesus by now, it's too late. Uh, the door's already shut. Or he was saying that if you don't come right this moment, the, door, the door's going to be shut. If you don't get saved, and you're going to be left behind. So I don't know what, or what he was saying about that exactly, but it's, it's something else. But uh, it was scary that seeing that because he, he shut that door so fast, went through it, and and uh, it was it was unbelievable. I was trying to think if I missed anything else about that, but I, you just couldn't believe it if you could have seen all that stuff. Them horses, I'm telling you, the, MP, the angels too, whatever, they can run faster than you ever imagine. Which, you know, we, you know, they can just think of a thought to be somewhere near there uh, past, I guess. Uh, let's see if I missed anything. I wrote down some stuff here. Um, and also, uh, guys, uh, if you have any interpretations of what the, what he might have been saying, let me know in the comments also. And also, there's a lot of strange things going on in these end times. Uh, you know, they're trying to take guns from people, and they'll, they'll get that agenda passed because they don't want nobody having no guns to protect their rights with. <clears throat> so, yeah, they'll get that. I'm sure they'll get that passed eventually here soon. Take people's guns and stuff. That's what they're pushing for. But I want to start this other video and let you see what else is going on. And like I said, if you have, want to write me about anything, any of that stuff, if you have any comments about it, write me. Write me. I'd be glad to hear from you what you thought about it, what you think you, what you, Jesus was trying to show. 
And I'm going to start this and just watch it. It'll tell you all about it. I love you guys. I might, might end with this. Welcome to the final days. Today is August 9th, 2019. Today we will be viewing footage that appears to be streaks of fire shooting down from the sky and some extremely large celestial orbs, none of which is mentioned by mainstream media. These are all signs that we are living in the very last days according to the Holy Bible. Later in this video I'll explain why this is good news and cause for celebration. The images you are about to view were obtained over the past Sorry for the shaky, shaky hand. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try to do better. Last few days from the Federal Aviation Weather Cameras in Alaska. Now, most of you are probably aware that the northern cap of our Earth has been burning out of control for some time now. The smoke is visible on satellite imagery. These fires are in the northern Alaska, northern Canada, Russia, uh, other parts considered to be the far north. Millions and millions of acres of land are burning out of control, yet no one seems to know why. Do you really think it's possible that a catastrophe of biblical proportions like this can occur with no one having a clue to the cause? Not likely. A few days ago, I was looking through the Alaskan weather camera images which anyone can do by simply going to the web page address at the top right corner of all these images. I don't have any special access to these images. As a matter of fact, I was banned from this site long ago, they thought. As I was looking at early morning images from the southeast facing camera in McKinley, Alaska, I noticed a really dark sky in one image and then just 10 minutes later the sky was very bright. This is unusual, so this led me to begin looking at more in that uh, same general area, and I noticed a bright flash in one image while looking at the east-facing camera in Teller, Alaska. At 3.50 a.m. local time, it... Sorry, guys, I looked away for a moment and dropped the, the recording box down, and I apologize almost appeared as if an explosion had occurred. The right side of this screen is facing southeast because the middle of this screen, the camera, is facing east. Then I noticed that the east-facing camera in Talkeetna, Alaska also showed a flash around the same time. Again, it's on the right side of the screen, which is southeast. So I went to the south-facing camera in Talkeetna, and I found streaks of fire coming down from the sky for three full hours. Now remember that this camera only takes a picture once every ten minutes. So just imagine how many of these actually fell when it's only capturing one image for a part of a second every 10 minutes. And since they're all coming down at approximately the same angle, I'm guessing these are meteorites. Meteorites start fires. And to be honest, I didn't check daily to see if this is a daily occurrence. But in order for the entire northern cap of the Earth to be burning, I'm guessing this has to be a frequent occurrence. Anyone can check these images daily or nightly by visiting the web page at the top right corner. In case people are wondering where meteorites would come from on a repeated cycle like this, the most likely source is the planetary system that has now intermingled with our solar system, causing increased earthquakes, volcanic activity, and many other problems. The east-facing camera in River Bridge uh, Yukon River Bridge shows that bell-shaped projector that we've seen many times before and here it's masking a large celestial object that has just eclipsed the Sun in these photos. This projector in combination with the atmospheric chemicals 
works successfully to hide these large objects from public view. Some contrast helps to bring out this object better. And as I've mentioned before, if I only apply the contrast to a small area of the image, it really works much better to bring out the details of these celestial orbs. Why would our leaders spend trillions of dollars on the technology to hide something like this? Because the enemies of Christ do not want you to know how close we are to the end. The enemies of Christ do not want you to turn your life over to Jesus before your time runs out. Information is at the end of this video telling you how to accept Christ into your life. Here's an even larger celestial orb captured by the southeast facing camera in River uh, Yukon River Bridge. The chemically produced clouds are very effective at hiding these enormous objects. The celestial object in these images is gigantic. These objects are disturbing Earth's tectonic plates and fragmenting our jet stream, causing Earth conditions that Jesus describes in the book of Matthew chapter 24 when he provides a list of all the things that occur in the very last days. Our video wouldn't be complete without viewing that red, fast-rotating orb we see daily from Alaska and Canada. I apologize that these images of the red orb aren't clear, but the atmospheric chemical spraying throughout Alaska and Canada is at a historical high level. The celestial orbs we have been viewing are part of a massive planetary system, which will make its closest pass to Earth during the seven-year, biblically foretold time called the Great Tribulation. God's wrath upon this earth will be occurring during the Great Tribulation. But all of this is actually good news and cause for celebration, because Jesus has promised to remove his faithful followers from earth before God's wrath is unleashed upon the earth. This is commonly called the rapture, which will take place quickly and quietly. The New King James Version of Luke chapter 21 verse 36 reads, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass. Jesus is referring to God's wrath. He is saying that those who are counted worthy will escape all God's wrath. The Bible repeatedly promises that faithful followers of Christ are not appointed to God's wrath. To be counted worthy, we must be living in holiness. A link in the description box below discusses what holiness is and how to achieve it. The reason that your eternal soul has been sent into this fallen world is so that you can choose to love Christ out of your own free will and live according to that love. This is the only reason we are here in these temporary flesh bodies. These next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life in the event you are seeking Him. Simply pause the screens if you need more time to read the text. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Let me back it up a bit. We'll tell you how to accept Christ. Let Jesus into your heart and be counted worthy. Believe that Christ died for you, your sins and accept him as master of your life. Repent of your sins. This this means ask forgiveness and stop the sin. Follow the Ten Commandments and Christ's teachings. In in the uh, what should I say? I can't see that. New Testament. I 
Oh, it said to let Jesus into your heart and be counted worthy. That's what it said at the top of it. I'm sorry. And to accept Jesus into your life, say this prayer out loud right now. Jesus, you have promised in your word that if I acknowledge that you died on the cross for our sins and were raised from the dead, and I, if I accept you into my heart as my uh, Lord and Savior, I assume it says. I don't know what it says above that because we cut it off. Then, then, then you'd be saved is what it probably says, but I don't know why I didn't show them that part at the bottom. See, to, did it back up again? Yeah, it did, didn't it? And if I accept, yeah, sorry about that, guys. It does this. Thank you that I am now saved. It says, and and have the promise of eternal life in heaven. Amen. Each day, read the Bible. Pray, follow the Ten Commandments, and also the, the teachings of Jesus Christ. Okay, guys, and, and uh, yeah, please get right with the Lord. Know that He gave, know that He took God's wrath in your place on the cross of Calvary for your sins and all our sins and my sins and all the world's sins. And He shed His innocent blood, and His blood washes His blood. He shed on the cross of Calvary when they put Him to death, crucified Him, put Him to death. It washes away our sins. And uh, then they put him in a tomb for three days. And and then on the third day, God, his father, rose Jesus from the dead on the third day. Know that and believe that. And uh, you'll be saved. I tell you, first, tell you, you want to first repent of all your sins and ask Jesus to forgive you of all your sins. And then um, ask him to save you and tell him you want to make him, you want to give your life over to Jesus. And tell Jesus you want to make him your Lord and Savior of your life. Your, your, you, want to, you want to make him, Jesus, your master of your life, your Lord and Savior, your God, your Lord. And you'll be saved if uh, you do that and you sincerely mean it and you sincerely believe in him and all that. And then you can ask to be pray that you're filled with the Holy Spirit uh, after that. And he'll sometime another feed with the Holy Spirit. If you pray for that, but start um, seeking the Lord with all your heart and soul. And, and guys, uh, I don't know if it's too late now because of what I've seen in the sky with Jesus shutting the door. But if it ain't, if it ain't, I believe even if I thought it might be too late, I would still be trying to get in there while I could and get saved because you might still have a chance to get in there or I'm in the door. I'm not sure. But I sure wouldn't want to be left behind for what's coming on the earth. Uh, seven years of pure hell on earth is going to be horrible. And you, there's a good chance if you left behind, you could end up in hell too forever. And you don't want that. All right, guys. Love you. I'll see you on the next video. Sorry for the shaky hands. I, I didn't get no sleep last like two or three nights not much. And I kept dropping an iPad. I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> so I apologize about that, guys. And my hand, I, it's sort of hard to hold it up there when I'm so tired. I love you guys. See you on the next video. Bye.